Folks, there's a lot to get to. Welcome to Mystery Crate. We are the Mystery Creators. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Yeah, why don't you set the table? table. I just felt. Send the table. I, felt, yeah, I saw the, the shot was on me, and I'm like. Hey, Tablecloth? You're sitting I'm, in the Dan chair. I'm sending the table. I'm saying words right now. That's right. Yeah. We got a lot to get to. Jeremy's New York story. Ooh. That thing has been teased for We'll months. get to it. We're getting Finally. to that. We'll get into it. Roy's yeah. wife had him do something ridiculous on Father's Day. We can get to that also. Yeah. But first, the first place I'm going to start. I could have been an NFL kicker. What I've, I've seen you kick. Right. Because we were at the uh, NFL Super Bowl experience thing together, and we both made field goals. Yeah. I think Witty was the only one to yeah, not make a Witty, field goal. Witty was terrible. Kind of embarrassing. Mm-hmm. But I've seen you kick. You got a hell of a leg. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's what with, made you think of this first, and well, why do you think you kicked I just, second? I, I think of in general of things I could have done if I dedicated my life to. Do you ever think that, Roy? Like, man, like you see a profession – like kick NFL kickers is one of them for me. It's like mm. if I would have at age 14, 13 said I'm going to be a kicker and tried it out and like became a high school kicker. I think kicker, that's too old already. You had, yeah. to, yeah. you had to be younger. You had to yeah, be you like be younger, from yeah. Pop Warner be the kicker on your Pop Warner team, then on your high school team, then college and the NFL. Do you guys have any of these things here? Do you have things that you're like you see a profession and you're like, "Man, I could have done that." Yeah, um if I had started playing hockey and learned how to skate at like Five, six years old, because mm-hmm. that's generally Roy. how they get started. And yes, I, I've definitely Roy. been good. Roy, I've, I don't want to do this. I don't know if that would have happened. I've, I've seen you play hockey again. If I had started at five or six years well, old, I think yeah. like by that, see, but that's what Tony's you're asking. Seen me kick, <laughs> so he can see the seeds. I can see of the like, future. Yeah. Roy. Or the past and the future. Back to the future. I've seen you kick. I think you could have been a, a movie director. Ooh. See, that's something that I think is attainable for you. If you had really focused in on that. Being a hockey player, I've seen you I've seen you skate. I don't think you could have done that. Again, at five or six but years old. By that math, yeah. anything. It's just whatever I want to be. I'm not saying, like, yeah, if anything. Like, if I would have been an actor from age five, I could have been an actor. Even though I really could have done that, too. I, I mean, believe. you could be an actor right now. Is that right second now? on your list? <laughs> I believe I absolutely 100% could have been a Division One head baseball coach. I don't. It's not something that's going to happen now. Mm-hmm. I could potentially, Chris, I, and maybe we, maybe we bring this up here. I've pitched that Metal Lark produces a documentary and gets you and I as wow. co- co-head coaches of a local high school baseball team. Or I'm head coach, you're pitching coach. That's whatever, whichever. Like whatever. Like, honestly, figure out the honestly, details, like, honestly, <laughs> honestly, fine. Fine with me. I'll be the pitching coach, you be the head coach. You're good with a fungo. I know that. Oh, I would love to hit a fungo. I know that. Oh. But I really believe that if if I had a different life path, but like one, you could do that, you could like, that's do it. It. no like, to be a Division One head. Yes, base, of absolutely course. But not. you're capable of doing it. Like this, baseball this coaches. Is po- hold on a second. You're criticizing Roy for saying he's not capable of it at all. Right. I'm saying something that I would have been capable of, but didn't send my life Jeremy, path that way. You? And inter- I'm 28 years old. Okay, but you're 28 years anybody old. Anybody could coach a baseball team. Exactly. You can be a 55. Division one baseball team. <laughs> but Jeremy, if you quit right now and you started being a coach in 30 okay. years' time, Dusty you Baker is a be, thousand years exactly. old. Exactly. You, you could, could literally. I could chew a head baseball coach. Yeah. I could chew a toothpick. Hell yeah. Yeah, that, that actually is <laughs> it's, it's half the job. How yeah, are you with sunflower seeds? Yeah. Oh, I'm good with sunflower seeds. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you yeah. dip or no? I don't dip. Ooh. I don't dip. Yeah, Fire strike. I know. Yeah, it's, it's a strike <laughs> against me. <Sorry>. Mm. <laughs> All right. We can't. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Fair um, enough. I feel like there's two things that if I would have dedicated my whole life to it, I feel like I would have been happy doing. Yeah. One, I don't know what the, the money situation is for this. Are we doing things like that that we f- wish – we could have like outside of the money or having the money with us. I think it's, it's, this is your game, man. Okay. However you feel. Because both it. of mine, both of mine, I don't know if they're entirely lucrative or not. I feel like one, if I would have stuck, because I was in this club when I was like, oh, this is good, third or fourth grade, mm-hmm. maybe second, third, and fourth grade. What I was club? in this club. Jump rope. Me too. Chess. Oh. I feel like if I would have dedicated exactly, if I would have dedicated <laughs> my entire life, all the time that I spent, the See, thousands and thousands, Jeremy, and thousands bad one, of hours, Roy, bad one, what? good one. Thank you. <sighs> so if I would have dedicated the thousands of hours that I had 
playing basketball and playing sports to just chess, I feel like I could have been some sort of grandma. But now, you're, but now you're playing like the what if game. But, but that's so, the whole game. He's playing the game, right? You just got here. You just got here. That's the whole game. Playing the game. Wow. He's playing the game of wow. something that would have actually taken a lot of work to get to be good at. Exactly. Like, yeah, like be a grandmaster so, so at chess. So what you should have noticed what you're saying is I should have cashed in on me being a stupid jock shit to hmm. become a chess guy, and then that would have worked out. No, no, no. I'm saying what yeah. the 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 topic, Mike, is. <laughs> Ooh, the soup du jour. I'll have that. Oh, I'm hungry. The, that the whole thing is. If you could redo everything and if you dedicated your life to something, what would you want to do? And I'm telling you, it'd be chess. I love how you think because I was in the back room. I didn't hear the whole thing. The audience knows that you didn't hear shit. <laughs> just got here. The second thing that I would have. I remember Mike knows everything. Right. Knows right. Yeah. everything. I do. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The second thing mm -hmm. is if I could have dedicated my life to this, which I think I still could. It falls in the realm of I still can't. Somehow or another been like indiana jones <laughs> an archaeologist what mm. you want to be an going archaeologist to different places and like finding buried treasure of some sort and being able to like bring it back i feel like that I, if i could have dedicated my life to that i would have done that too it you belongs in a museum you played this game fantastically thank you take notes jeremy like you could you could go Fuck be you. a, a, a <laughs> yeah he could, could go, go be, be a coach, coach right now. <laughs> you have the skills like you wouldn't have to train yourself to go be a if college you, coach. You, that's no, that's yeah. fair. That's fair. That's really okay. What we're so about. can I can I do something different then? Okay, you I already think said I, college coach. So. I think I could have been uh, a singer songwriter with a top forty song on radio if I had de go. developed the. The top forty thing is like a skill. detail, like yeah, yeah. yeah. Like no, that's why I'm making though. it. That's why I'm making it ridiculous. Anybody can be a singer songwriter. I've no, uh, not, you guys but, ever write no, songs? No, but, I, I, I have scenes. stuff. To guys, you did a musical. Like, no, Anybody can do it. To be a, me. To be a <laughs> successful no, singer songwriter <laughs> is different. Yeah, yeah, that's like, different. That's so, what I'm saying. I wasn't asked to do anything. I was taking acting classes, right? And then I remember one of the first things the guy says. He goes, "If you think you're gonna make it to Hollywood here, you're setting your bar too high." Right. He's like, "You can do this." If you just focus on being a paid actor making a living, Correct. you could do this for a long Look time. Look at you taking so, acting classes. Yeah, so all That's what I'm saying. So all because, like, yeah, you might not be a top 40 world tour, you know, Taylor Swift in it. You could still make a great living oh, for sure. just yeah. being a, you know. And, and I always talk about this uh, with my girlfriend about acceptable levels of fame, right? Like, there are these guys that are DJs, reggaeton stars. You have no idea who they are. Perfect yeah. level. Eight million followers on Instagram. They're all making money, but they can walk down the street with no problem. That's the you know, best. That's the type of fame you want. Absolutely. You know? Well, and that's what songwriters like from a money and fame perspective, like songwriters in general that are just like the people behind the song, they make the most money. Like they make more money than the performers do on the music, which is yeah. the, that's the best part. But I, I really believe it. If I had that's now you're playing the game. Different well. life path. Now you're back. Where at ten. Instead of spending all of the hours, like Tony was talking about, playing basketball and everything else, instead of all of the baseball like stuff that I was doing yeah. like a fool, if I had de dedicated all of my time to sitting down at the, the piano and the keyboard and mm. actually doing my musical scales and all of the things that I was trying to learn, I think I could have had at least one successful song. Look at you. I kind of want to play the game now. Who in fame has the perfect level of fame? Like right now, if you say... I want this person's level of fame. I, I have one, but you guys don't even know. I feel like I feel like who a good is it? One, try us, I, I, Darren Chris. Yeah, I don't know. Who yep. Is. Yeah, I have no idea who the fuck. I that feel is. like a good one is like a, a Panther star in this market, Matthew Kachuk. Like you get plenty of notoriety, but you can also do some shit. I wouldn't know Matthew Kachuk. That's if what he I mean. Into this That's what I mean. It's like when he's around Panthers fans, he gets flooded with stuff but it's like he can go most places i just feel like that's the perfect I, matthew kachuk might be the perfect level of fame ryan lomberg another guy that's less i wouldn't so even slightly know. less than kachuk slightly you less. could put a picture like a picture of of a lineup up with yeah. him and other panthers players and i probably wouldn't be able yeah. to point him out the bob reason, would you know no nah. wow. oh boy the reason i mentioned darren chris and like you could do anybody in yeah, the sort of so he was he was uh he was ugly which I've mentioned before Unkly. in general. Don't you have can, some top five for that? I do, I do but yeah. we'll, we'll get to it. He was on, um, hold on, what, say that again? Glee. Oh, the, Glee. The TV I show Glee. Unk, I heard yeah, Unkly. I heard Unkly. Unkly. On, I was like, wait, on, what was on Unkly. the TV show Glee. He was ugly. But he also, <laughs> I heard that too. He, he also, uh, he won an Emmy for, he played Andrew Kananen, the guy who killed Versace oh, in wow. the assassination of Gianni Versace. That, the, that was a good show. The show. Yeah. So he played that guy and won oh, an Emmy for that it. that guy. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that guy. He can walk in just about any Anywhere and not have anybody notice him, but...
because he has an Emmy, because he was involved in, in the previous TV shows, he gets into every single award show, anything he wants to do, any concert. He has that level of fame where it's like all he's got to do is make a phone call to somebody he knows and he can get in anywhere and live the life of the rich and famous. But then also just him and his wife just like live a very normal life. I think that's that's the perfect level of fame where you're making enough money to be able to do whatever you want in your field and you're famous enough to get into whatever functions you want nobody actually recognizes you out on the street just like you guys are talking about that's the successful hollywood director thing yeah. Yeah. because you could be a director you know all the celebrities you know all the big hollywood people you're getting into every party you're behind the camera no one knows who you are dan unless Le- you're like spielberg dan you know? levitard's faint level of fame is, is a nice i like, was just about to say dan he can probably go not waiting for tables in miami everyone kind of knows him in miami but he can probably walk through most airports and he'll get a couple hey, hey dan but I feel like Dan's got a nice level Dan's, of fame. Dan's a very nice level because you look at Dan, you're like, uh... The ESPN! I know you, I know you. <laughs> but not to the level of, like, he can't walk into a crowd and, right. like, be mobbed, you mm-hmm. know? Roy, you said something to me earlier that I just can't believe. What did, what did you do on Father's Day? I think he made me go to the gym on Father's Day. Now. What? I love it. Congrats. Anit. Anit is one what, of my... What, what are you talking about, congrats? Congrats? Anit, Why? Let me just... I'm about to rip your wife, so let me say some nice, oh, nice things first. Anit is one of the, my top 20 favorite people in this world. Wow. I was, wow. I, she was in Vegas with Roy. Many delightful conversations. Uh, she she had our back at the Venetian. We haven't gotten into that yet. I'm sure we'll get to that at some point. Um, <laughs> but Roy, the Will fact we? that she made you Venetian go to the Venetian to that? You get him out of here. This guy, when he gets no, we, we need him. We, we can we kick people out of Father's Day? No, we can't. Jeremy, I love. Jeremy. <laughs> He's a father now. No, no. no. Wow, oh. That's what you <laughs> that would have been a hilarious way to reveal yeah. it to the world. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy is never bad dad joke guy until he like gets in that shipping container. It's only here, and he <laughs> feeds. There's so many jokes on that you don't hear. No one hears it because yeah. he just says it to the back room, <laughs> and I'm always looking at him, and it's it's part disgust and part proud of you. It's great because it's also like I pitch it to you most of the time because you're the person who could get away with it. Yes. And then you look at me with that that exact face. I look at you like, did you just say that? Right. And then and then I'll do the same thing to Billy and then he'll give me the same look, but he'll go bring it to air. (laughs) He encourages me. Evil cat. Yeah. Yeah. And he wants you to fail. Which is great. No, I'll take it. It's not failure. I'll take this space. I love a good dad joke. Oh, that's great. Speaking of dad jokes, Roy, like give me context here. Why did your wife make you do this? Or do you just have no control over anything, including on Father's Day? Yeah, it's definitely the latter. I have no control <laughs> over So what were you guys like? Thing. Were you checking out gyms? Are you guys members of a gym? No. We went to the gym here at the Elser. Ah. Yes. What's it called? What do we call it? The Iron Temple. The Iron Temple. Yes, the getting Iron that, Temple. Getting that frim. Yeah. A free yeah. gym. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to put that one together. <laughs> Roy, there is not you you should have been the one leading your entire family to go to the gym on Father's Day. Yeah. Being like, this is what I want to do, uh, guys. Terrible. Why in the blue hell would I do that? To get better, Roy. Yeah. If you get better and but you it, get But it makes more me fit, sore. I feel like oh my God. I'm sore at it. My bad. I'm I'm trying to have people be healthy. I'm tired. My bad. My my face is all red and I'm Good. tired. Good. And I'm breathing heavy. Good. I come here every Sunday. I Except when I threw my back out three weeks ago. Well, you come and work out on Sundays here? Yes. Why? But only Sundays. Wow. Yeah, only Sundays. But you should come throughout the week. Twice on Sundays? Once on Sundays. Oh, hmm. That's rare. Yeah. Why, why Why should I come here throughout the week? I don't feel like doing this after work. Because what's the point of you doing it once and a week? And you're already here. Yeah, you're already here. I you're love that. I want to go home. You come so? here four days a week. <laughs> but yes. you only work out on Sunday. And you, and church you is nearby? Back, right? on, yeah, church is Sunday. That's why. There you go. Yeah. Do you come in your church clothes? Uh, no, I have changed the clothes that, that we bring here. We have changed the clothes. So Where do you change? And then worship at the, the Iron Temple, am I in right? In this bathroom in here? Yeah. So you walk to the studio no. bathroom. No. You don't even go to the Iron... Did he do another bad joke? Yes. Yeah, yeah he goes... <laughs> what was it? No, we I don't need to worship it. at the Iron Temple, am I right? <laughs> That's not bad. That's not bad. Yeah, hit him Come on. on. He worships twice on Sundays. Come on. Yeah, thank you. Why? What's the origins of, like, and twice on Sundays? Like Every what? day and twice on Sunday. Yeah, what's well, like? Why? Uh, I guess I'll just look mean, it up. That's day like for, rest. It's I like guess? for being a hard right. worker. Like right. I, I work like, so hard, I do it twice on Sundays. It's like yeah, I do, do that what? every day, twice on Sundays. <laughs> <laughs> I just want one one time someone to be like, yeah, twice on Thursdays. Eh, depends how I'm feeling. I've done it twice on a Thursday. Hell yeah. Well, oh yeah. My guy. Yeah. You don't have the strength for that anymore. You're getting older. <laughs> I heard my dad say the other day. I'm already day, there. I heard my dad <laughs> uh, say the other day something about being a morning man. 
Yeah. And like he said this for years. And the other day, I was like, it, ju- it clicked in my mind. <laughs> no, no, no. I've always known, but oh. it kind of hit me. <laughs> how do you? How have yeah, you always, always known? known. Explain. No, I've always known what that meant. Oh, uh, I thought okay. you. I thought, I thought you meant that. Uh, you've, uh, you've always the known part that was like odd. Man. And I don't know if because you never know with my dad if he's doing a bit. If you he's never like know. Being honest, I'm the same way. It's a Cody thing. A morning thing? Mm. Yeah, my morning, morning guy. Morning Is it hereditary? Hey, hey, Especially hey. now once you have kids, boys. Before or after the coffee? Before. Whoa. Oh, this is like... You're a coffee guy? This is like... Bo- no, I'm not a coffee guy in general. This is like before alarm stuff. Mm. You set an alarm on a Saturday? This is like... This could be like... Five five forty five on a work day. No way, yeah. man! That's sneak crazy. it in there, huh? No wonder if my guy wakes Whoa. up. Whoa, dude! I got kids. high energy. I got kids, bro. This dude, is the time, dude. Five forty five. That's just sometime. I'm not saying it's like a, an alarm set. I'm just saying. No, there's an alarm set because like both of us wake. There's ah. both of us wake up early, so there's a lot of you guys don't have this where like early in the morning you might both be up in bed. Like you're not. It's not time to get out of bed yet, but the alarms have started going off, so you're both just kind of like you hear ruffling around. I hear a phone get grabbed, so it's like oh. She's awake, and it's just one of these. It's like yeah, you're up doing this. All right, we're doing this. Oh no, like, no, hold on. Oh, this guy. <laughs> yeah, that was a good that one. That one, that one, that one deserved it. Mm. But it was one of those things where my dad always did that, and I was just like, "Is this something that could be like hereditary? Like, is this like, or is it just like coincidence that I'm a morning man and my dad at one point was a morning man? I feel very vulnerable right now. You, no morning no, no, men, no. no morning people around here. Well, no, Wild Bill. Ask your brother. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> 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 no, I mean, I think it just depends on you don't on have kids. Your partner though, too. Yeah, that that's believe me, that's part that's a big factor in I, this. That she a lot of energy at night, you get the, you're you know, like, after you're a like, long day of work, I'm tired, like, yeah, you know, yeah, you're trying you're to like, just get it in where you fit it in. Exactly. Yeah, like, in like, more ways yeah, than that's one, where we are. That's that's more ways where than we are right now. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, I feel like I've said too much. Yes, you have. Maybe a little. Jeremy, when do you have sex? Whoa. Just kidding. I'm just trying to get. I think we're good. Yeah, 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 yeah. You think you're good? I mean, what does that mean? That's I'll, okay. I'll say it. I'm not a morning guy. Yeah, not a morning guy. Okay, well, you, uh, wait till you have kids. I know that's what I'm saying. It makes total <laughs> sense once you put Mark, it like you're gonna that. You're going to have kids, right? I don't know, man. We don't have to go there. No, no. no I mean, it's, it's, a, a, it's, it's a, a weird thing to ask people. It's a, it's a genuine question. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you don't know who's trying and who's not. So, it's uh, Tony, you're going to have kids? Very yeah, safe. one day I'll have kids. Yeah, same. One day I'll have kids. Um, no, but it's, uh, it's Mike is Mike is a little bit older, uh, no, and he's no. in a different season of life than some a other little people. Bit older. Different season There's nothing of life. Wrong with that. Wait, are you suggesting I'm more than a little bit over? <laughs> yeah. What no, is that no, supposed no. to be, Jeremy? I'm saying you saying a little Who's bit older. Who's the jerk here? Sor- yeah, Tony I'm putting or, it on no, Jeremy, Tony. I, wait, Jeremy's the jerk. I'm saying. I'm saying. All right. What are you saying? I'm saying that the a little bit older felt a little backhanded. No, like, oh, absolutely he's not. He's a little bit older. He's a little bit older. He's more seasoned than he's, most people. He's yeah. closer That's to Roy in age than he is to like. God damn it. To me or you. That's Why fair. would you do right. that to me? That's fair. Because you're older. Roy, you're a little bit older. Roy, you're Mike's old. a little bit older. You guys are a little bit older. And you're in that season of life where kids and. You know how old Roy is? is? First night in Vegas. Guess what he did? Slept. Slept. Went to dinner. Uh, yeah, I went to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> I've, I've never been to Vegas. When you go to Vegas. You go straight to the sports. You don't book. go to dinner. You, you put in a couple food, wagers. I said to one. I, I, I said to one of my buddies in Vegas. Food is the least of my worries. Wow. Just, just when, at one point, I'll um, eat just because I have to. Give me the sports book. Give me the casino. Give me the bar. Give me the pool. Yeah. Give Chris, me the bar. It's like Chris, dinner. Chris, who goes to dinner in Vegas? Chris, my what wife was, came with me. What was dinner? Yeah, she did. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner was an uh, Italian restaurant that was uh, recommend, uh, recommended by uh, Bill Lawrence, oh, so we went to that one. Oh, Where's this? Right, oh hold on. Let's go on. i got to find, find it. Find it's it. the next yeah, page It's, it's, over. it's kind of like... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's see who finds it first. Yeah. Yeah, uh, remember, there's a picture it's, on that button picture over there. On the other, yeah, I know, the but there's, yeah. this thing's kind of like... There you go. Oh, me, oh. I went to Vegas for the first Chris time uh, a couple months ago and did the same thing as Chris, thinking like, all right, time to go down to the sports book, play some bets. I wanted to bet on a heat game. Mm-hmm. Uh, they were playing the Magic. I was Are like, you oh, allowed to do that? Great. Um, did you just break news? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, what works out great. You could have no, said on. you had sex in the morning. That would have been fine. <laughs> yeah. Now look at you. What works out great. What works out great is I, I didn't place the bet oh. because oh. because 
I fucked up time zones. I now I'm now I'm nervous, so I started using profanity. <laughs> no! that's, why I, that's why I said it. Tell us your for the work kind of guy. It's okay. But I really Three didn't. Three, I really two, didn't. One and pick up. So I went to go bet on anything but a heat game, gotcha. and uh, but I actually I screwed up the time zones and was just Jeremy's I was sweating, devastated, like heartbroken <laughs> over the idea of walking down with this this game plan as to what I wanted to bet. I'd been looking at stuff when I was on the flight there, thinking like, all right, I want to bet on this and I want to bet on that. I want to bet on that. And then by the time I walked down, every game had already started. <laughs> nice. like a couple futures. I, uh, or what? First, I like that we got his Vegas story before the New York story. Yeah. Well, no, great. we're getting to the New York yeah. story. We'll get there. So, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll but, get to it. Yeah. So I'm not a big gambler. Like, but the last time I went to Vegas, I said, I'm going to do some sports book yeah, stuff, course. right? It was two. It was twenty twenty one. It's like, can I get seven sixty eight? No, and then for hundred so, bucks. It's like, just let me tell you the yeah, team and name. And, and, exactly. Numbers, they need Vegas. the number. Yeah, and then and then like they said I couldn't do some stuff. I was like, whatever. Give me the James Harden over, and give me the bucks to win money line. I'm like, oh, I'll hedge it a little bit. James Harden, a minute into the game, pulls his hamstring. Oh. So it didn't hit that, and then the bucks lost. I'm like, you know what? More like stick it to the table. I'm an idiot. Stick it to the table. Yeah. I did not gamble. When we went to not like you in the morning, Chris. Yeah. Oh, wow. I was about to say that. Oh, wow. I thought that was just in my headset. I was about no, to repeat I was, it. I was, <laughs> wow. You're turning into your dad. That's that unbelievable. <laughs> it is hard sometimes to, to determine, in my dad's defense, what is on air and what is It yeah. isn't easy, when especially when room. we're fitting in tight windows yeah. like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Chris fits in tight window every morning. Hey. hey. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, hey. Not every morning. Hey. Jesus. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> you don't have to strike. Like, Jesus. Dude, that's that crazy. was a low shot, but that's why I said a little bit older because you said that to me. Because <laughs> I said what? I remember that. Shot on me too. You man. said that I was getting a little older and I didn't have the the power uh, for two. Yeah, so I, I caught a stray because of that. Game Billy. Yeah, but do you have stress like about getting older? No, nah, not at all. Yeah, there's literally nothing you can do about it. So it's like well, that just embrace it. Yeah, that, mm -hmm. and I feel like as I get older, um, I get more experience, and I and I try to. Is this a morning thing? Make again? my life better. What's the number one cliche when it comes to this? What we're saying right now? What I'm about to say. Getting older beats the alternative, which is death, yeah. which is getting younger. I'm just saying that's. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be cool if we could get younger, right? I I, I often joke with my daughter. I'm like Benjamin Button because I, I want I always joke with my daughter that Button I want her to, she's getting old too fast and I want her to be young. So I'm always like, Grayson actually just told me that she's gonna uh, go backwards at this birthday. She's going oh, back wow. to four, and oh, like, she'll be like, wow. Daddy, no, I'm not. I'm old. Like, you know, she, that's she's the whole a big girl now. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm I'm getting bigger. And if I'm only like, she knew what what is ahead of. And her. I'm just like, <laughs> I always am like, God, can you just go backwards? Like, be, at your next birthday, go four. How go many there. birthdays have you done this to? I feel like you've done it a couple times uh, in a row. Probably, yeah, probably a couple in a row. But if you had, let's say if we all had the option, at tw two times in your life, you can go backwards. I, I was just about to ask that question. What would be like, so what would the age? Hey. What, would you have already done it? Like, like. Uh, I don't know. I'd, like Mike, you specifically. Like in a old. time machine, what what <laughs> what age would you go back to if you had a time machine? I probably wouldn't go back that far. I'd probably only go back to like 28, 29. No, I'm saying if you could. That's no, 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 no. It's not. My game is you can only go back one year, twice in your life. Oh, I get what you're saying. Um, when but like repeat the year, so it's like you say, for 30. example, you no, you're not gonna, like no, 30, you're just gonna live and you're like, that, mm, I no, want to live 30. to 29. You just again. go backwards in age. You yeah. don't redo anything. Do you have the it same, all still exists? You have the same knowledge that you yeah. do now. Thirty one. Everything still happened. Yeah, thirty one to thirty. Like mm. th I know, like a lot of twenty somethings, like they have this big stress thing about turning thirty, but like. Thir the 30s, I had way more fun in the first three years of my 30s than I did in all my 20s combined. Same. Yeah, like you have money, I, people respect you. It, yeah, it's it's fucking people awesome. Respect Not you? Even, yeah, dude. Because when you're when, mm. when I see someone that's 21, 22, they're bitching about their life problems. I'm like, dude, shut the fuck up. You have no fucking idea. Yeah, what's but happening. in that moment, yeah. you think you're being respected. Like, you, <laughs> you don't realize no. until later that yeah. no it's one like, gives a shit what you think. It's like when people are in high school. And they think that everything. Yeah, Jeremy. Is the end no one cares what you think. Yeah, and then Jeez. eventually they wow. figure out that it, it ain't shit. Yeah, that's a lot of profanity. Yeah, I do what I want. <laughs> so I just got this text right now. Literally just got on my phone. It's an iMessage, so it's somebody with an iPhone. Likely scam? No, not likely scam. Unlikely it's scam. It's not me. It's an unlikely scam. So they just sent me a picture. Ooh. I'm going to show it to Chris Cody. Mm -hmm. It's a picture of like some pants. Let me see if I can put it on the screen. Where am I? Right here? It looks like Jeremy. Mm, uh, it's like a pair of pants that says... It's men's wool Italian fit trousers for 875 bucks, and somebody just sent me a text Kiss of this my picture. ass. That's all they sent me. That does look like Jeremy. <sighs> Power move, by the way. Classy. 25 unread messages. Oh, um, that's you, usually more than you that. You gotta write that's back. Light. It's clear what you write here, right? New phone, who dis? <laughs> but, but why would they send me a pair of pants? Because they think that, that I could see you wearing something like that. Maybe you, you need a pair of pants. I mean, it's $850. $850. $875. For these pair of pants. I'm trying to think what's the most money I've ever spent on pants. 
I don't think I've ever spent more than like two hundred. Two hundred. Thirty five dollars. It was probably That's part a of it, but part of a suit. Oh, but that doesn't count. Yeah, I, yeah, I guess more. I guess you need the whole thing. Because this is yeah. this is just the pants. Mm-hmm. They're uh excuse me, let me see. They're Brunello Cuccinelli. Hmm. What's the most expensive it's article made up of name. clothing you own? The most expensive article shoes. of clothing I own. Yeah, <laughs> That's usually where it ends up, but <laughs> yeah. I mean My if hat. we're taking shoes out of it, um a suit Heisenberg. probably. I have a I have a a decent suit. How it's much like is what? that Heisenberg hat? About four hundred. What? Yeah, hats are expensive, man. Yeah, you guys went to uh, yeah to Austin, right? Yeah, you we saw a bunch of Remember Stetsons. Remember, we saw were? those those Stetsons were like twelve hundred. I wasn't around. Oh, yeah. I wasn't around with you guys when you did the, like the. Expl- I, I flew out early that next day. You guys, I remember being jealous a little bit because you guys had like an explore day. I saw you guys all taking pictures in like oh, the hat store, was? and yeah. I had already. It was like, Roy. It was me, you, Jess, Jess, Billy, 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 yeah. and Lewis. I think. Yeah, yeah Lewis. I was a little. I had FOMO. But yeah, they were like fifteen hundred dollar yeah. snakeskin boots and like fifteen hundred dollar hats, which I was really careful putting those shoes on, man. I didn't even look at them. <laughs> I had so much FOMO with that entire trip because I had started with you guys like three weeks before that, three or four weeks before that with the Super Bowl, and then every person in the office just up and left for Austin, and <laughs> I was just like, "Oh, did you okay, come back into the office? Because that would have been cool. You. To, like, just you see you in the office, like working, just by, myself. Look like Will Smith. by yourself, just me alone, working <laughs> like, in the Clevelander, exactly. looking like Will Smith at the uh, the series finale of Fresh Prince. Just, what do I write back? Yeah, in just room? looking around, <laughs> turn it off the lights. <laughs> Nothing but a rug. <laughs> do I report junk or do I write back? Oh, it's a spam? No, it, I, I don't know. It's a regular number. I'm going to put new phone who does. I want to get a call one time that says scam unlikely. Because then I'll answer. Because you guys get these? The scam yeah, likely? Oh, scam All likely. It's half the people that call me. But yeah. how come how, how come they don't? So they do know when it's not a scam. They just don't tell me. They'll just leave the number there without scam without likely. Without scam likely under. But I, I, I want to know the scam meter here. Like, Ooh. definitely not a scam. There's an app for you. Might this one be feels a scam. like a scam. Like, there should be levels scam to this meter. other than scam unlikely. I want the whole thing. Give me definitely a scam, probably not. It might be... Trending towards a scam? Yeah. Skeeter. Yeah, I like that. I mean, if he's telling you to buy pants from him, that's a scam. It's an 860 number. I'm just staring which at you, 860 <laughs> is is Connecticut, is, is like so Bristol, yeah, an Bristol area. <laughs> it's <laughs> just this ESPN. chair. When you sit in this chair, bad jokes, you have to just stare. <laughs> it's like what Dan does. Yep. Like when you just have to. <laughs> just let it sit. Yeah, just let it sit and... Anyway, back to you. Anyway. All right, boys. Back to me. Welcome to Mystery Crate. Actually, yeah. I did that to hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it, I did. No, Remember you, you were setting the table. I know. Yeah, you kind of had this really choreographed thing. Like, you were so hyped up. Well, it's because I see myself on the shot. Hit me, uh, hit me with my shot, my one shot. Yeah. yeah. Look at me. Here Strong and powerful. Ah, let's go. I look like a wrestler now. Thank you. <laughs> well, <I'm laughs> what is that supposed to mean? I don't yeah, know. What's a wrestler right. name, Cody? Um, The Red Baron? No. <laughs> He's thinking about it right now. I'm really man. thinking about it. Let's all let's all come up with the wrestling name. I already came up with Tony's. Oh, I put it on I put it on Jess's fart bear. Uh, certificate. Jeremy's yeah. fart bear. Fart bear. Uh, yes, that's DS. not a that's not a wrestling name. <laughs> <laughs> that's just not a wrestling. That's because you farted in the corner one day. I, Everybody farts, yeah. Jeremy. It's fine. Everyone I, farts, dude. You just did it loud one day when we all heard it. Okay. That was actually a great icebreaker. Like everyone was like, "Oh, he's the fart guy." Yeah, yeah. this guy's comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Walk home. Walk great. Home. Yeah, <laughs> really good. Jer Bear, you prefer that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, to what fart you, bear. What do, you get more, what do you get more in the wild? I get more Jer Bear in the wild. Uh-huh. I do. I get more Jer Bear than fart. But I can't tell you that I haven't gotten fart bear. I have, You're and I respond to it. That's the part that's the worst. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, wife, a, that's a you has problem. Your fiance called you fart bear. She has not called me fart bear, but she's very much aware that it's. And she likes. Does she listen the to the show? Existence. She doesn't listen to the show. So she has no so, idea. But she about listens anything? to no. So I'm she like understands some segments. Listens. You don't want well, them listening. Yeah. She she listens um to some segments. So to your she'll heat watch. propaganda. Yeah, Is that what she listens to. Well, oh, she has to listen to that before I ever even come in. Yeah, she runs a lot. She actually, it's really funny. She so she doesn't care about sports like at at all mm-hmm. uh but this heat run got her in so she was you like infected her i did and she was like really obsessed with the season and i'm incredibly superstitious she never doubted. i'm incredibly superstitious to the point where like if for example um when the heat came back against the milwaukee bucks when jimmy had 56 or no not 56 but one of the other games where he came back he uh I went to the bathroom at the beginning of the fourth quarter and the Heat had been down 16 and they made a small run. So I stayed in the bathroom for the rest of the game so that that way I wouldn't jinx them. And I was right. They won that game. So uh, I've infected Courtney with the same level of fear and superstition. So she was watching games 
that I was at by herself for the first time in her life, ever turning on sports, sitting in the same spot of the couch the entire time, texting me that she couldn't, she knew she couldn't move. You because her. I totally ruined her. And then, of course, the one run that she gets involves the most stress you can have, which is taking a 3 0 lead and then blowing that 3 0 lead. After game six, she said to me, I will never watch sports again. Huh. Oh, so right. it was a fun month and a half run. So she's out. Can we put this shot up of Jeremy holding this ridiculous sandwich? Like, We've been Cubano Gigante. Explain yeah. what's going Ooh, on. It has here. a full name. That should that should be my nickname. For the yeah, that's just... the, so that's Ho, that's Jorge Soler's nickname as a result of the sandwich. This is a really great screen grab too that you guys got. So, so thank you for that. For, for I look awesome. Just <laughs> listening, it's Jeremy. What looks I mean, like really good shot is that in the clubhouse in a suite. Where, that's where are we? Uh, walking in the in the the broadcast booth down toward uh, Paul Severino and but you know what? Jeff Nelson in that, in that, that day. That picture that's like the most Cuban you've ever looked. With the sandwich, and you got the scruff going. Yeah, I mean, it's a really horrible, horrible He looks picture. like a he guy about though. to go do some TV. Hey, guys, yep. I got your sandwich. Look That's exactly what I'm doing. Who wants a middle piece? This entire, this entire package was that. It Hell was yeah. It was me taking the Cubano Gigante, which is a three-foot-long Cuban mm. sandwich at How Lone long? Depot Park. Three, three. feet. Hmm. Three 36 feet. 36-incher. Uh, oh. And it's actually it's delicious, but took it around the ballpark. Twice on Sundays. Tour. <laughs> Right. <laughs> Ooh, sorry. So here's I have a question for everybody. Just What's that, Tony? If 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 you were given, let's say, three hours to eat that whole sandwich, could you? Mm. No. I had the same question. I was I was trying to here's think the of same it, answer, and no. I had right. I had like, can you eat eight six inch subs? Right. I, I had three or four inches, slices of that, six, six and felt how pretty full. It, how much does it cost? Like on it's, the fi- it's fifty-two dollars. Oh, uh, so it feeds <laughs> it feeds a family of four is how it's described. Probably so more. It's, it's actually realistically yeah, not that it's, terrible. It's the best bang for buck at the ballpark, yeah. in my opinion. But that's a separate conversation. You guys want to go? The five of us will split something. No, nah, because I don't like pickles and I don't like mayonnaise. You, which is probably buddy, you ask him. No pickles, no mayo. Yeah, Very I'm simple. Yeah, how I'm do in. you how do you eat without mayo? You know those. <laughs> I don't I eat without mayo. And that's yeah. pretty damn easy. No, nah, mayo on a sandwich is pretty fire. Oh my god, it's not. Yeah, it is. no, no, it's not. Roy, right, I, I love you, but not on this with you. Yeah. From you with may yeah. oh be wrong on this one. Mm, that sucked. Sorry, right. somebody get it right, right there. Thank you. Oh, you can do that. <laughs> Good. <laughs> that was totally by mistake. Right, you made your transition. Yeah, that fits. <laughs> Straw man. <laughs> hey, you're doing a thing. Yeah, it's like playing buttons here. We like to have fun. We like don't to. don't hit the because Miami buttons. No, it's Dan's computer. You think I could like send an email from him, like uh, to who? Company wide email. I wouldn't advise yeah. it, but we all fired. What do you think yeah. his password is? What do you think fired. Dan's password is? Uh, another another fat dangerous game. Face. <laughs> <laughs> Exclamation point. Nope, didn't work. I'll try a question mark. Okay. Carry on. Hashtag. So nobody thinks they could eat the sandwich? No, oh, I know, I know, I can. I don't How know if I can do I it in three hours. Yeah, I mean, amount. that's a good question. question. Me and my brother are no- notoriously big eaters. So eaters. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, sorry, what? what was that? Hey, no, that was yo. last second. <laughs> you and your brother are notorious beaters. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> Shit. <laughs> 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 Did you give that one to yourself? Or he no, he did. No, 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 I get it. Sometimes it just happens. Like the world knows it's funny. Yeah, yeah, just. So you guys are big. Big eaters, huh? Well, it's okay. So, who's the oh, big, baby? So, so <laughs> you guys are big eaters. <laughs> who's, the, who's the bigger beater? Especially in the morning. Who's yeah. the bigger beater? Uh, so, when Gino was a kid, uh, he used to like eat large pizzas by himself when he was like eight. So, wait, what? Yeah, he was and he was like eight years old eating large pizzas so by himself. New York style, dude. Wait, yeah. wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Yeah, he was. He could eight put years it down. old. He was. He was eating, eating large pizzas. He's still here. Pie? Yeah, uh, I think so. We need him to eat a pizza. Yeah, go tell him to go <laughs> get a full pizza. Tell him to come yeah. here. Where is he? Well, you can yeah. probably hear you. He's probably in the back. Uh, Gino, let's go. But uh, come sit so next to your he, brother. He used to eat large pizzas by himself. That can't. You must be misremembering, dude. I swear. And then, and then he was not the smallest child. And then when wow. he was a senior, <laughs> he's not the smallest adult either. Yeah. So when he was uh, in high school, he got a job at UPS, and then that was it. Total body transformation. Uh, but, in a uh, good way or a bad way? <laughs> good way. Oh, okay. Carrying all those packages. Oh, sometimes yeah. people you know. he used to load trucks. Yeah. Yeah. So so he stopped eating large pizzas, or he can still kind of put down. No, a now pie? he could. I don't know if he can still can. I, I he's like totally different now. He eats sushi more often than in pizza. What did oh, Jamar, fancy. What did Jamar Chase say about Patrick Mahomes? Oh, is that? He said like, Joe Burrow was better. Yeah, he said Pat who? Yeah. Like when they asked him. Exactly. What's he supposed to say? He didn't say that about Tyreek. Tyreek said similar stuff last I have, last offseason. Yeah. I have a picture. Me and my buddies oh, did. Oh, he's going through something right now. Yeah, I'm going to look through my, my phone right now. Me and my buddies did Steve's Pizza Challenge. 
Oh, that's the one. Where's where Gino, by the way? In West Kendall, not the one in North. I'm gonna Miami. go see if I can. What does that entail? Yeah, go see if you can find him. What does that entail? That entails a 36 inch in diameter pizza and two, like two large, large sodas. sodas. I think. Yeah. I'm gonna see if I can find the picture. That one, I feel like. Because it's three people, right? Yeah, it was me and two other guys. I feel like I can easily put that down. Toppings? Brother, no, because you had to put three toppings on you it. You have to put that So on. usually people put a meat and a couple of veggies or whatever. Right. We were the first ones. If you go down to Steve's Pizza in West Kendall on Kendall 152nd, 157th-ish, if you go down there, I don't know if they still have the picture on the wall because COVID, they had to do stuff, whatever. But we were the only people to do it with three meats. Oh. We did all meat on the, uh, on the pie. So we did pepperoni, bacon, and sausage. The Hassan White side of pizza. It man. was not. It, you say you can do it until you actually sit and they they have three people bringing out the actual pizza and putting it on your. So plate. what do you? So what do you think the good? I think the last thing you gotta do is drink the soda, because the second that soda hits the bread in your stomach, it, it, it expands. Oh, it expands. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think you eat all the pizza you can, and then you house. The I soda. think we did that. Um, and then you vomit. I'm gonna, after. A yeah. couple buddies, yeah. of, like the two other guys, vomited. I didn't vomit. Um, Gino, by the way, is either pretending to be or in a very serious meeting. I like creeped open a door. He's just like, "What you do is he's talking to a computer. You put the <laughs> you put the box underneath." He was like, just saying some shit. And I was like, "All right, I'm not gonna." Uh, right instructional now. video over here. What's going okay, on? so I found I it. I'm gonna show it to Chris Cody. I'm gonna show it to Roy. So that's the pizza right there. That that's three of you have to eat. Yeah, that's oh, wow. that's me at I don't okay, know you. 20, 21, maybe 18, 19, 20, somewhere around there. So that. Show wait, it to your camera, th- Wait, Tony. three of you have to eat that? Right there, yeah. Right, three of us right have there, to Tony. eat Hold that it right there. Hold it right there. Oh, wow. That's easy work for three people. Tony, that, dude, how old are you in that picture? If you're still, oh, look at that hair. <laughs> I'm 19, maybe. Oh, okay. Dude, you have to 18, eat, 19. You have to eat the equivalent of like two gigantic slices yes, Chris, of pizza. Yes, Chris. But if you saw that, that pizza doesn't. It's, it's the whole table. It's the, it's literally the whole table. It's 36 inches in diameter. So when are we Is it like that one I bought that one day? Remember back in yeah. the yes. video? Yes. I like accidentally yeah. ordered the extra, extra large. Yeah, and it was can like, I fit that through the door? I, I had to like tilt it to get it in exactly. the door. Exactly. Okay, so, so, so what's the episode of Mystery Crate where we're going down to Steve's and we're filming this? I'm with you, though. I'm down. Three people, that's a tough. I got to be really high. Dude, because remember, because mm. that, that, it, the dough is not like a thin crust. It's like. It's doughy. It's doughy. It's yeah. a big slice. A lot of flop. So here, I don't know if you guys can w- want to zoom in again on, on the phone. This is the before. And then you also have to drink two two liters with this. That's right? ridi- That seems oh, like that, a ridiculous that's, detail to throw that's in there. dumb. And the, the kicker is you can't stand up. You can't go to the bathroom. You can't do can't anything. Can't stand up. Yeah, that's you have to stay I'd sitting wanna, down. I'd want to walk off a little bit. Like that's, walk off. But that's what they're letting you know. You can't All walk right, let's off. Let's see the after. Okay, so this is the before. Uh huh. This is the after. The oh, kids, you did it! You did it, did it! We did it! Yeah, you did yeah. it! Okay. Oh. First to do it with three meats. Congratulations! And wait, wait a minute! What about yeah. all that stuff on there? There what, is. What? There are three dudes there. <laughs> what uh, is that left over? Yeah, three meats. On there? What's going on? <laughs> that, that's just that's just scraps. It took Roy. me a second. Oh, the toppings. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that took me a second, but I had to. <laughs> you know. He's but like, yeah. oh, there's three meats there. I'm like, yeah, that's what they said. <laughs> oh. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Three guys. Oh, three yeah. meats on the. Be weird if there was four meats there. Yeah. Hey. Three meats on the table, three meats in the seats. Oh, boy. You know? So that's that Bunch to me sausage. is like... the. Uh, there was. Yeah. There was. And, and pepperoni. Mm-hmm. And bacon. How did we um, get here? Yep. Pork. Because of the, because of the sandwich. We're I'm very saying, mature. Is there any other uh, like eating things that you guys have done that can compare to that or have some sort of equal to that? Only in the morning. You can tell me in the next segment. Hmm. I feel like that was a good joke I ended up. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Welcome back to the Mystery Crate. As we finish up here, I feel like we've done a good job of getting to everything we wanted to get to. I literally have a vacation starting right after this record. This is my last work that I will be doing until the 4th of July. You lucky wow. fuck. Really? I can feel you like oh vibrating in the chair, like getting ready to lift I off. I remember I've talked on That's the show. I talked on oh. the show earlier your, this your week. Your phone is so loud. About the, <laughs> the, the pre-vacation. You're on vac- really on vacation? I thought you said like a haircut or some shit. Well, well, no, that's just like, yes, I'm going that's to get his a haircut. Excuse haircut that's his excuse I have to yeah. leave literally right now to go get a haircut for my vacation. Is an excuse if it's true? Yes. No, it's, yes, it's, yes. It's it definitely an be, excuse yeah. if I plan it at that time specifically. So you can leave. So I can be at it. Yeah. Thanks for your hard work, Chris. <laughs> it's the Panthers with but the injuries in the Stanley Cup final. We are about to hit the peak of what I talked about on the Levitard show. Because, like, the day before vacation, the day of vacation, when you finish that last work. So, like, once you're done with your work and it's just vacation mode that's a sweet time to be alive boys and i'm about to hit that i wish it upon all of you i know you got a big trip coming up soon i do i do see you're in that sweet spot how long until it's here uh like 60 some odd days ah see a couple months that's a sweet spot. you're not too excited yet but you still got it on the horizon it's just like 
I'm doing that. You're probably looking at stuff still, planning oh, stuff. Oh, am I? It's a beautiful time. Planning a trip, all the little things you're going to do. This night, we're going to go to this dinner. I got, rec- I got a yeah, wreck yep, here. Yep. It's just, it's a beautiful time, and I'm in it right now, and I'm happy. How, how like, long do you guys plan out, like, these big trips? Like, I hate, like, when it's like, oh, yeah, in a year and a half, oh, we're no, doing dude. this. I hate that. I love that. Really? That's the best I mean, way to get the pricing that's, down. That's, that's the best way I, for I, good yeah, deals, but it's, just, but it's also just the best for, like, it, it's, it's, it's a carrot at the end. It's a, yep, it's a yep, dangling yep. carrot. I'm, I'm such like a negative thinker. I always oh, feel like if I do this 10 months from now, there's going to be a meteor that hits <laughs> five months from now and I'm going to lose the trip What's and lose the money. Maybe and, you'll I mean, be right eventually. Last yeah. yeah. half empty kind of guy yeah, over here. No, I just, yeah, I guess. But it's just, that's what I'm always worried about. Like, oh, I have to put this 3,000 non-refundable deposit and I'm never going to get there. Like something's going to happen. Jesus. I'm going to, I'm going to need that money. You know, yeah, because if it's a short trip, I don't pl- I don't plan it out a year and a half or a year. You know, if it's like yeah. I'm going to, you know, California, I do that like in two weeks. Or I'm going to New York, it's like three weeks yeah. at the most. But if I'm like going to Japan, which is what I, something I want to do, you got to plan that out. Are you breaking news here? You going to Japan? Eventually, I'll be there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that's something like, but trips like that like require. Years from now. A, a, yeah, <laughs> that's sick. what I'm saying. Well, I was trying. To, I was trying to go during the pandemic because the, the flights were only like. 500 bucks and then it's like oh yeah but you have a 14 day so like you, government quarantine, mandated yeah. quarantine yep. and I was like oh, I guess I'm not going yeah. Yeah. so yeah I'm leaving alright later later <laughs> I mean, I'm also leaving to get a haircut here. so oh, you're leaving too yeah see you guys back. Oh, okay. what I, the best part not the best it's actually part, the truth with all the oh submarine God. stuff earlier this week I just was like in a statement I'm like I'm never getting on a boat again and I'm and going you're going on a, get boat, on a boat. Long cruise. Yeah. He's going to Alaska on a cruise yeah. ship. That's really? crazy. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Out here. It's yeah. a long trip on the from Miami catch, uh, to Alaska. Yeah. Going to catch some crabs, it's I all guess. All the way huh? around Texas, up to California. Really? Yeah, yeah. yeah you so you're going through like the Panama, the Panama Canal. Canal. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. And no, then he goes all the way up the coast, I mean, all I'm, the way up to Alaska. I'm lying. We're oh, flying to Seattle. That's what I figured. Yeah. Long yeah. flight, by the way. Longest yeah. continental United States flight there is. Six hour flight. Yeah. Because there's nothing further. If you go from Miami to Seattle, it's the longest cross continent. You can go to Anchorage. Cross continental flight. Oh, sorry, I mean, we didn't still, get to my New York the story. North American oh, country. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. not Jeremy, no, leave. Do your haircut. The continental yeah. United States. We'll get to your story next week, Jeremy. Oh man. Yeah, I know. What a bummer. Yeah. All right. Well, I've, good yeah. thing. Good thing we have. Should I move over here? Do you want me to move over here? I'll stay. No, here? stay, okay. stay there. Um, All right. I mean, anyway, what's the point? It's one. It's the longest continental United States flight you can take. Miami to Seattle. Yeah. It's long, but two. The thing that I wanted to get to here with I think three gentlemen who are very apt and ready to talk about this subject. Something that I brought up, uh, and Billy, of course, being the evil cat he is, kind of nuked it on the show. I have a thought that I'd like to spool out in front of you gentlemen. Mm -hmm. Do you guys think that there's any good buried treasure left? There's no more X's that marks the spot? I feel like we're running out of of buried treasure. I I could totally derail your whole argument. But I don't want to be. Oh yeah? yeah, how's that? Really? There's never been any treasure retrieved from any pirate ship ever. What? Exactly. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, but ever, that's why I'm asking. In the history of ever, but that's why lies. I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is there any good buried treasure left? Because see, there's but, people but, looking for it. But when you say, "Is there any good buried treasure left?" Yeah. That implies that somebody has found, and there's never been any found. I'm saying that there's people before, obviously, way pre-internet, way pre-modern times, that ran up against a tomb of some sort in Central America that the Mayans put a bunch of gold and stuff. They took it and it's been melted down, whatever. My point is, in the modern times, I think we're all looking for buried treasure that's not there. Oh, so you're thinking like just treasure in general, land, sea, doesn't matter Any, where. Right, okay. anywhere. Treasure lost at sea has never been recovered. Right. Uh, I mean, it depends on what you consider treasure, right? Like Gold and rubies and riches. Like trying to find I mean. the uh, Ark of the Covenant. Yeah, exactly. They made a movie about that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they did. They did find it, though. They did. Yeah. And we still haven't found it in real life. Everybody just overlooks the fact that Indiana Jones failed in that movie. Well, no, he did not fail. He did fail. No, he the found Nazis it. The Nazis end up getting the, the, the Ark. The, the Nazis only die because they decide they to open, open up the Ark on yeah. their own volition. Like, right. And Indiana, Indiana Jones didn't make them do anything. They to told them to close their eyes, too. Yeah. Close, he told, yeah. He didn't see a thing. Marian. Yeah. 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 He told Marion to close her eyes. Yeah. 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 He didn't see a thing. He closed his eyes as well. But. He took it back to the United States, and now it's in a warehouse somewhere. Yeah. I. You know what? That's where all the buried treasure yeah, is. Danny just filled me in. It's a good point. If Indiana Jones does nothing, the ending to the movie is the same. That's true. <laughs> the Nazis Ex- open no, it, but no. and they all die. <laughs> no, except the Ark of the Covenant is going to be stuck on that island. Yeah, exactly. Oh, so he, he does... 
He helps find it. Uh, so correct. he found he it, helps. brought it back to the United States. Correct, yes, correct. exactly. And it should then, be in a museum, as we're And then it goes out. into yep. that big warehouse. That's, warehouse. That's where all the buried treasure yeah, is. And, yep. and, and that warehouse, I think, was like the inspiration for like a Netflix show that lasted a season. It was called like Warehouse Warehouse Eight or something. Hmm. Yeah, or Warehouse Thirteen. That's what Danny just told me. Warehouse, warehouse 13. Thirteen. Where, yeah. Danny, come in here. <laughs> no, Danny's doing things. Danny's doing I, his I job. Danny's doing what he's doing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so in that mind frame. Like, he goes out and finds the Ark of the Covenant, Indiana Jones does. Yeah. He goes yeah. out and finds the Holy Grail. Right. Right, like two things in lore that we've never been able to find. Do you guys think they're still out there? We're just skipping over Temple of Doom. Well, <laughs> I mean, he doesn't really find anything in the Temple of Doom. Yeah, he just recovered no, he some he re- stones. He, re- he recovers the stones. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean... Yeah, he recovered the stones. I mean, stone. cultural significance of a couple of stones versus the Ark of the Covenant and Holy Grail or... I mean... It's, you're, it's you're, the third on the you're, totem pole. You're, you're comparing, like, two religious things mm-hmm. because they're the... Indian people's religion and that thing is that significant to them. Where I, I in get Christianity, that. Christianity, the other two things are significant. I, I get I'm, that. I'm, I'm just going to say right now, mm. Temple of Doom is like Die Hard 2. Not it's the worst of the three. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. It's a oh, 100%. It's a folk. It's a folk. It's a folk me, for me. me okay, hold on. Me, I, me and Tony know this, okay? Which is better in your eyes? Raiders of the Lost Ark or Last Crusade? <sighs> wow. That's actually, oh man. I Don't wanna, get caught up in the nostalgia. I, I want to, but Last Crusade. That was that was some good cinema right there. But man. is it the best Indiana Jones movie? <sighs> I, I can't say it. I can't oh. say it because Raiders of the Lost Ark. That was. We can all agree it's great. not Kingdom of the, of the uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. No, no, no that, that, one that didn't exist. That, that one doesn't that, exist. Are you guys are you guys worried about so, this Roy, one? You cannot say definitively that the Last Crusade is better than Raiders of the Lost Ark. Oh, man, I, 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 it is not even a distant second. It is a it's. Nose to nose, neck and mm. neck, it's that close. But I gotta give it the Raiders of the Lost oh, Ark. No, I, I got to, but not by much. Not by I much. I was gonna have a celebration. I was gonna play the cannonball sound. I was gonna dance around. You can mm. still play the cannonball. No, sound. No, Roy said. Roy said it's not as good as Raiders of the Lost. Ark. I mean, we're talking about centimeters here. Yeah, we're talking about the metric system. Yeah, he's not right. even imperial system. But now, metric. Now you're playing both sides. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, hey. when they go, Cottery. when they're at. The uh, the crossroads of going to Berlin or going back down hmm. to uh, to wherever it is that they were going. I forgot. Right yeah, now. It was when Italy. It was Venice. When they're getting Venice. Yeah. Yeah. When they're getting on the the blimp. That part. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. On the on the motorcycle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. like, you want to go back to Berlin? Yeah. And they end up being in that Nazi rally, whatever, and then yeah. he runs into Hitler. Runs and he signs yeah. the book. Yep. Yeah. No, it's. I mean, I can't think of any part of that movie I don't love. Mm-hmm. Like. Uh, even the part with the blimp and he punches the guy, he throws him out. Throws no, him out no, the, no on the luggage. And everybody puts a ticket out. Like, <laughs> yeah. See, that's why I said earlier in this show that if I could have dedicated my life to something, it would have been to be Indiana Jones. Right. The one yeah. thing I hated about Raiders of the Lost Ark was that, f- that fucking monkey. Yeah. That, that monkey. Well, I mean, bad dates, you know? Bad dates. There's, yeah, that's right. Bad dates. <laughs> well, I also remember at the beginning of Temple of Doom, when they're they're having like the meeting with the gangsters or whatever, and yeah. he finally gets the diamond that he wants, and then he drinks. Why would you drink from that? Yeah, yeah. They, they clearly gave you that. Yeah, Why yeah, would you yeah, drink? Yeah. They What's clearly the want to kill you. The guy literally has a gun. I'm looking at him. Like that that part was not the best. And Indy, then, Indy gets himself out of a lot of jams. He gets yeah. himself in a lot of jams. Too. Yeah, well, yeah, but to get yourself out of them, you have to get in them. Yeah, and, yeah exactly. And, and I also think that they glorify his job. Which I guess he's a professor, right? So that's where he really makes his money. Right. Because I know more archaeologists don't make shit. Mm. Correct. Like you're just like studying and living off grants, which is the whole Not thing. Easy. Like at uh, Jurassic Park, remember in the beginning of Jurassic Park, they're just hoping to get a grant so they can live and continue doing their bone shit. Yep. So it's like uh, they glorify that part, but I guess he was balling out on his professor. Money. I don't know if he was balling out. I think he was getting money when he would retrieve these these articles. He would. But did he sell them? He would give them to the museum, but I think that they would grease them on they the way out. The, for yeah, fortune yeah. and glory. Yeah, because right? he, he would usually say, it belongs in a museum, but like they're going to donate that stuff. Yeah. He's not going to... It's a very quotable movie. Uh, like even, the, the franchises. Dude, even the yeah. part of... Like Snakes, like I the hate rib, Snakes. The River Phoenix uh, yeah. thing in the beginning. That part's awesome. We see like he was a really young kid. Yep. And then, man, such a good movie. The River Phoenix... River Phoenix, yeah. When yeah, he's, I, when he's I, I was like, the, yeah, I mean, I know it's River Phoenix, but he's like, the li- River Phoenix. That's, yeah. if that's an actual river. Yeah, well, yeah river. No, in no, Egypt yeah. or something. I was trying to figure out when, when in that in that first part where they're showing like young Indy, Utah, 1918 or whatever. Yeah. I was trying to do the math on how old do you think he was to how old he is now or like in the show. 
or in the movie, excuse me. That's like Eagle Scouts. So yeah, so he's like what, thirteen? Yeah, just, twelve? Uh, maybe, yeah. yeah, fifteen at the most. Fifteen probably. Fifteen yeah. at the yeah. most. So you're thinking he's what, late thirties, when he's actually going out to get like the Holy Grail or Ark of the Covenant or whatever he's in his late thirties. Well, he's so. Uh, I don't know. That's oh, that's. No, I was trying to do that math. Then. I'm sure that somebody's done because the math dial, before. Dial of yeah, this is, this is a Google search away. But Dial of Destiny was. 50s at that point that, that, well Dial of Destiny goes back and forth right like they show like in the preview they show young Indiana Jones and then mm. he goes forward and I remember in the last movie that we don't speak of um, he's, <laughs> Kingdom he, of the yeah, he's fighting Russians right when I speak Cold War, War. right yeah, yeah so this one at the most could be in the 80s so maybe it's still Russian we're still doing Soviets yeah, yeah cuz I don't know I'm, I'm I'm really hyped to see it even though I know the initial reviews aren't that good but uh, like I'm but it's gonna be better than four I mean it's not, we hope so that's not Nazis I hate not those much to guys. do yeah <laughs> <laughs> low bar when they're at the uh, at the castle anyways alright promotion time Roy what yeah, do you got 30 seconds uh, I, I don't remember okay excellent Mike what do you got uh, Roy has Renee Montgomery uh, <laughs> uh, yeah we got Montgomery and company I, don't, I forget who we had Amy right. Olsen we there have go, Amy, Amy Olsen check it out yes yeah. check it out and uh, uh, because Miami yeah, uh, John Morales because Miami John Morales the legend uh, and then we have Southeast Sessions with Tommy Vitor of Pod Save America oh we have God bless football bless God bless football <laughs> sorry I don't, I don't know what happened there Antonio what do you got <laughs> I got everything just check it out you got everything yeah. MMA hangout no nothing uh, MMA hangout we're, we're maybe moving on a couple things very exciting goodbye okay goodbye hey hey gotcha